second grade, welcome to day two of subtraction, okay? Now, if you notice, yesterday it looked like this screen. This is what we worked on yesterday, okay? Using tens and ones to subtract. Mr. Kelly made 47 muffins. We learned yesterday, or day one, that we write down the larger number. The larger number here is 47. So we make that with tens and ones, and we quick draw the tens and ones. Then we write down the smaller number here, okay? This is the smaller number. So we're gonna take away 23. We look to see, oh my gosh, we can totally take away three. One, two, three. Then we look and we have four ones left over. Now we have to take away two tens, right? Look at that, one, two. We take two away, we have two left over. So our answer then would be 24. Okay, today we are going to refresh our brains on the standard algorithm, okay? We're gonna add that piece into this. So look at this problem. We have 56 take away 19. So notice, this is what we did yesterday, right here. That's what we did yesterday. Today, we're adding this guy and we're reviewing this. Now, this is where my rhyme comes into place. We always, always, always check the ones place first, always. Then we look at those numbers and we say to ourselves the rhyme. If you remember, if there's more on top, you don't have to stop. More on the floor, go next door, get 10 more, okay? So look at our, um, I'm gonna change the color here. So look at this. So we're looking at the ones place. Oh my gosh, is there more on top or more on the floor? Look at this. This is the floor and a nine is on the floor. Nine is larger than six. So I have to go to my neighbor and get 10 more. So I cross off five tens and I make four tens because I'm only borrowing one 10 to the neighbor. So I take over the 10 and look at what Miss Wolf does. I like to put it right there to show that now when I add the 10, the six becomes 16 because I added a 10 over to the ones, okay? So then we turn that into 16. Now I can take 16 away from nine. No, I can take nine away from 16. That sounds better. So 16 take away nine, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. So then I'm gonna change my color again. And we get seven right there, okay? Now four tens, take away one 10, gives me three tens. My answer should be 37. And if you wanna double check from what we did yesterday, right? When we add the 10 yesterday, we add it underneath. We're still adding the 10 with tens and ones, okay? So, if we're taking away 19, remember Miss Wolf from yesterday, we write it up here, but there's not nine ones, so we have to cross out this guy, okay? Something's rattling, it must be leaves or something weird, bugs flying at the windows, I don't even know. Okay, and then we carry it over, okay? Now we take nine away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You notice we should have five ones left over, okay? Now we have to take another 10 away. We should have three left over. Oh, I think I counted wrong. That was definitely not 10. Guys, I'm all messed up. I am so sorry. I'm adding 10 over here. Let's try this again. That's better. Now, Miss Wolf, take, take away nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That looks like seven to me, you guys, does it not? Holy cow. This Wolf's going to mess you up.
All right. I need to wake up. Wake up, Miss Wolf. Here, let's do it. Wait, they're explaining. All right, let's do some problems together. All right, this is what it's gonna look like. We're gonna do the rhyme together. We're gonna practice, all right? So we always look where? We look in the ones place, right? And we say the rhyme to ourselves. We say more on top, don't have to stop. More on the floor, go next door, get 10 more. Okay, I'm looking at the seven. There's more on top. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. So we don't have to stop. Seven, take away five is two. Four, take away one is three. Ooh yeah, love that. Okay, so now let's look at our neighbor again. Ooh, this guy, if you notice, this is the floor that I'm talking about in my rhyme. Now we say the rhyme. We look in the ones place, always, always, always. More on top, don't have to stop. More on the floor, go next door, get 10 more. So we definitely have to do neighbor business. Look at this, there is more on the floor. So we take three tens and we turn that into two tens, okay? We carry over the 10, look what Miss Wolf likes to do. I like to add it here and see, look at that. That two becomes a 12 because I'm adding a 10 to the ones place, okay? So that two, we cross it off, we can write down right here that it becomes a 12, all right? 12, take away eight. Well, I can start at eight and count up to 12 to help me as well. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I get four. Whoa, Miss Wolf. Okay, we got four. Now, two tens take away one 10 makes one 10. So our answer there is 14. Okay, so now let's go on. Whoopsie daisy. Okay, draw a pic quick picture to solve. They want you to use the picture. So it's 35, take away 29. One, two, three. And then we got 29, okay? Now, we always look in the ones place. No matter what, if there's more on the floor, go next door, get 10 more. More on the top, don't have to stop. Now look at there is definitely more on the floor. So we have to go to our neighbor, okay? The three tens we cross out, it becomes two tens. Just like up here, because I have to borrow, look at that, we have two tens left over. Do you see that? And then we have to add a 10, We have to add a 10 over. So if we add a 10 over, you could count the ones up above, but 10 plus five makes 15. We have 15 ones instead of the five because we added a 10, okay? Now 15 take away nine. Well, if we take nine away up here, one, two, uh-oh, how many was that? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So up here we have six, so down here should be six. Now, look at this, two tens, take them away. We don't have any left over. So our answer then is six, all right? Do you guys see how I did that? So using tens and ones shows you why the standard algorithm on the bottom works. It shows you visually what we're doing, okay? Both strategies work. Base 10 is a visual showing you tens and ones, okay? The bottom one is the standard algorithm. And usually if you have good number sense, you know, you know your math facts, that one will get you through a little quicker than the top one. The top one takes a little time and patience, but you still get the right answer, okay? So remember, you're probably gonna see both strategies on your Go Math today. Use what strategy helps you. It's no race. It is not a race to see who can be the first one done, okay? Actually, there's no way to know right now if we're all at home. So don't even worry about it. Take your time. Do what helps you. 
I do want you to know both of these strategies because both of these strategies are helpful, okay? So now they want you to draw a quick picture too. So 53, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. And then look at, we're taking away 26. So I'm gonna write that up here. 26, to remind myself that's what we're taking away. Now, if you look at mine, look at there's more on the floor. More on the floor, go next door, get 10 more, okay? So, we have to cross out the five. The five tens become four tens. And then the three becomes a 13. Because look at where I put the 10. I put it in the tens place next to the three to visually see that's a 13. To show you that that is what we are left with right now up above, watch this. Oh no, I can't take away six ones. So I'm going to cross this off and add it over here. Okay, now there should be 13, 10, 11, 12, 13, ones. How many tens are left? Four, look at down there. I wrote it, four, 13. Four, 13 ones over there, okay? Now let's subtract. I like the standard algorithm on the, on the bottom. That's what I, Miss Wolf, am used to. 13 take away six. Well, that would be seven. Four take away two. Four tens take away two tens makes two. Oh my gosh, I cannot write. Get that out of here. 27. Now let's double check our work up here. We need to take away six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now how many are left that I did not highlight? Well, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven in the ones. Now I have to take two tens away. One, two, I should be left with two. So both times you get the same answer, okay? No worries. Let's do another one. 38 take away 18. Now watch visually. Some of you may have gotten tricked on this one. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're taking away, we're taking away 18, folks. Look at that, is there eight ones? Can I take away eight ones in the ones place? Absolutely. Look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't have any ones left. Eight, take away eight is zero. So I didn't have to do any borrowing or carrying over, okay? Three tens take away one ten makes two. Look it up here, I have to take a 10 away. Cross it off, I should have two tens left. So both answers, I get 20, okay? 63, Sophia has 63 points. Dennis got 46 points. So how many more does Sophia have? Well, that's a subtraction problem. 63 take away 46, all right? Now we say Miss Wolf's prime. We say, oh, we look in the ones place. More on top, don't have to stop. More on the floor, go next door, get 10 more. Oh my gosh, there is more on the floor. Let's go next door, all right? So, Cross off the six. Six tens becomes five tens. And I'm gonna carry that 10 next to the three. And I'm gonna put that 10 in the tens place so you can visually see that is not a three anymore. It's a 13. 13 take away six is seven. Okay, five tens take away four tens is one ten. One ten plus seven ones makes 17. Now I will show you with base 10 to show you that that strategy works as well, okay? So let's just get this going here. Watch this, boom, 
boom, tens, ones. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, so we gotta make 63, we make the large number. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then three ones. All right, so the number we're taking away, number we're taking away is 46. Oh dear, look at that, there's only three there, so I have to take out this 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I can take six away. Look at this. Let me just count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So I have all these guys left. So I have one, two, five, six, seven. There should be seven ones. Now I need to take away the four tens. One, two, three, four. Look at that. I only have one ten left. So one ten plus seven ones makes 17. All right, get the same answer. All right, let's look at your other word problem. There were some people at the park. So if we're making a number sentence, we're gonna put a placeholder there. We don't know there's some people at the park. 24 people went home. Now there's only 19 people. How many were at the park before? Look at this, they are trying to trick us. Last week we learned addition. We don't know how many started at the park, but we know that when we're subtracting, the largest number in subtraction has to be first. So do you know that this number has to be larger than the numbers we see in front of us in this number sentence, okay? So what we have to do then is add the two numbers that we do have together. If we wanna know who was there to begin with, we only know how many left and how many we have left over. We have to add those people back. We had to add 24 to 19 back. We have to add them back. If we only know that 24 people left, we don't know what number we started with, we have to add it back to know what we started with. Does that make sense? We have to add the 24 people back to the 19 to figure out who was there originally. They are trying to trick you. I hope you're watching this video instead of just doing your go math because I bet if you're not watching this video, you're gonna get tricked today. Uh oh, Raggy. Yeah, buddy. So it's an adding problem here, 24 plus 19. It is good to be in the habit of putting the larger number on top. But remember with adding, it really doesn't technically matter with adding, with subtraction it does, which is why Miss Wolf says, it's good to have the habit of just putting the larger number first. It's really good to do that. All right, so 24 plus 19. We start in the ones place, you guys, right? Nine plus four. They're trying to trick you because they gave you a subtraction problem, but they make, you have to add to find out what number to start with. Holy moly. Nine plus four makes 13. So we drop the three, carry over the 10. One plus two plus one is four. So the answer should be 43. Now, if we want to see if the subtraction problem is right, let's double check our work. Now let's make the subtraction problem. If we got it, the answer then we should get is 19 at the end. It should look like this, and then our answer here should be correct. So let's see it. Let's try 43 take away 19. Nope, sorry guys, I'm sorry. Our regular number sentence says 24 people left, so it should be 24. 43 take away 24. All right, now we look in the ones place, right? Oh dear, there's more on the floor. So we go next door and we get 10 more. Cross off the three, bring it over here. The three becomes a 13. 13 take away four is nine. Three take away two is one. Oh boy, we got it correct. So the correct answer then is 43 people were at the park before. 
Wow, what a tricky problem that is. You can always replay it and follow along with me if you wanna get better understanding because the more you watch it over and the try again, the more it, it will come better for you. You'll think about it and you'll see it again and it'll be a little bit simpler every other time that you rewind it and play it again, okay? So let's look at the last one. Mr. Sims has a box of 44 erasers. All right, let's write down what we're working with, 44 erasers. He gives away 18. Okay, how many does he have? All right, so now let's change the color of my thing. All right, let's do this. Boom, chicka boom. Now we say to ourselves, self, if there's more on the floor, go next door, get 10 more, more on the top, don't have to stop. Oh, snap. Eight is higher than four, and four is on top, which means there's more on the floor. Let's go next door. Get 10 more. Cross off the four. Whoa, Nelly. Cross off the four. It becomes three tens. Now we carry it over. The four becomes 14. 14 take away eight. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 10, 6. Three tens take away one ten is two. The answer is da, 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 26. All right, you're gonna have all of these problems that we went over, but different numbers, okay? So what I want you to do is take your time. All right, so today it looks like this, 5.4, share and show. Sorry, it looks like one long word, I didn't put spaces in. And then 5.4, homework, because you're at home and you're working from home, all right? Take your time. That problem up there, ooh, that last problem, story problem was tricky. Rewind it if you have to, okay? Take your time, read the question. Read the question, please. Thank you. XOXO, Miss Wolf loves you. All right, come on, toots. All right, see you guys later. Take your time. Please don't rush in math. Please don't rush, because that's how simple mistakes start. You rush. Take your time. Figure it out. Do your best. All right, I love you. Later.